Okay guys, welcome back. Today's drill, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, starting from the top position of our backswing and then the initial move down. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick, something that Sergio Garcia used to do and his dad had taught him this uh, many years ago. Sergio had a pretty definitive move where, he, where he, at, from the top of the uh, backswing, he would not just generate power coming this way, he would let this club drop pretty severely too, by the way. It would just keep dropping down before he actually started bringing the club towards the target. Now, I'm not proposing that in this particular drill, but there are some pretty cool things that we can do and use some of that, and maybe even think a little bit of Dustin Johnson, who also does that with a bow lead wrist coming down. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with our swing trainer at this position right into here, and the next move is going to be right elbow or back elbow, in towards my right oblique, left hand bowing on the way down. So here I am, one, two. You can see my lead wrist is starting to already bow. Again, I'm using uh, my three fingers right in here, pressure point uh, number five of the left hand coming through, it's through, right elbow in, curling those lead fingers. And you can see again, right in through this, and this will be a, a little stopping area right in through here. Get you the feeling of feeling like that, that, that um, as you come through, that right elbow is bending and getting really, uh, it's beating the left on the way down, getting really tight into our right oblique. And you can see the hand positions, how it's starting to bow. And you can see the swing trainers already uh, pointing towards the target. So you can do about 10 reps of those nice and slow back and through, and I'll show you that again from in here. So we kind of just let the hand drop a little bit, you'll see. Just stay here, dropping down, and there's the bow. And you would stop right there. Try this at home. It's a great little tip for creating lag and not throwing the club so early. And uh, we can utilize uh, some of those little uh, positions right there and ingrain them as we go to swing. They'll become a part and parcel to your golf swing. So. Hope you guys enjoyed that tip with the swing trainer and we'll see you guys back tomorrow for our 30 day Pygo challenge.